What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. What are we working on today? How about we get right to the video? You can tell something funky's going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, you guessed it. Today's the day we are painting the 69 International. This has been a long time coming and I'm wicked excited. And I'm really tired because I've been sanding for about eight hours. But I spared you guys all that. Yeah, I could have videotaped all the sanding and all that stuff. Here, I'll do a little sample. All right, now multiply that by about 65,872,564.3. And that's what it took to get to this point. And I did some DA in too, like on the sides. But yeah, so that's where we are. And I pulled all the mirrors and everything off. I did that yesterday. I was going to film it, of course, but I didn't because the wind was blowing about 300 miles per hour. And the camera kept knocking over. And I said, you know what? You guys, I'm just gonna go right to the exciting part. I gotta get a rag and wipe the whole truck off with some wax and grease remover. I have to get some tape and some masking paper and tape off all the windows. And we are ready to go. I decided kind of at the last minute that I'm gonna paint this grill silver. I'm gonna paint the mirror bracket silver. Well, that wasn't a last minute decision. I think this grill crown will look way better silver and yeah the rest of the truck's gonna get painted orange crush if you guys were watching my old videos and pay attention every time i talk about this truck i always say i always open up the door and say here's the color i'm gonna paint it can't really see it that great but you guys will see it soon enough yes this is a freaking half-ass job guys this is not a pristine 1000 point show truck we are building here yeah, we are painting right over the original paint. We're not going to primer over the bare metal. We're not going to tape off the jams. We're not going to go crazy because someday when I retire this truck and get a, a truck that I can kind of beat around, then I'll do this truck really nice. But for now, I just want it to look better than this. So it's going to look, no matter what happens today, I think it's going to look a lot better than it does now. So... I'm just gonna roll with it and if you haven't noticed by now I actually did paint the box of course the box is up now I painted the box a couple weeks ago I painted it on a day it was like 300 degrees out and uh, oh my god it was a uh, quite the struggle but yeah that's the gray I've been wanting to paint the box and all I did nothing fancy here guys all I did was pressure washed the living crap out of it with purple power and went over it with a scuff pad when I was washing it and pressure washed the living crap out of it and uh, rust-oleum with enamel reducer and you spray it through a gun and let it dry for a couple days and you got a nice job that's my trick that I that I always talk about rust-oleum paint 50 50 mix with enamel reducer and you got it spray it through a spray gun holds up real good and it's cheap all right there it is all masked off ready to start painting this butcher job man i'm actually kind of embarrassed about this this is gonna look so bad oh well Got all the windows masked off. 
I literally had just enough masking paper I brought for this project. So first thing, we're gonna base it with this just generic orange that's pretty close to the orange that's on the truck. Got almost a whole quart of this. And then I got two quarts of the orange crush that is gonna go over it. So hopefully we're gonna have enough material to do this whole thing, wishful thinking. It's Saturday afternoon and if I run out of stuff, I'm gonna be screwed. Pretty close to the orange that is on the truck already. That way all the primer spots and the bare metal spots will be pretty consistent color because the new, this metallic orange paint, this orange crush color is pretty transparent. So try to set ourselves up for at least a little bit of success here. This is urethane base coat and what I'm painting the truck with is single stage urethane which means there's no clear coat and it's going to come out with a gloss with no clear coat which is not the most ideal system for most applications but without using clear I'm going to save myself one or two hundred dollars. But if you're doing something nice, I would suggest base coat, clear coat. This is kind of the cheap way out. Yeah, that's covering pretty good. Still got a couple coats to do, but I think we're gonna be all right. I'm worried about not having enough paint, but I'm thinking we're gonna be pretty good shape, hopefully. All right, I burned up almost a whole quart of orange and got everything covered, like three coats on everything. I did not get the back of the cab, so I'm kind of disappointed there. I got this side pretty good. Everything's pretty consistent. Climb up here. I got everything you'd see. I didn't get really the top of the roof that great. But everything you'd see, of course the hood is a completely different orange, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is the back of the cab. It's going to take a lot of paint to cover that. So I think I came up with an idea. It might bite me in the ass, but if it does, I guess we'll learn a lesson. I got this little bit. Oh, there's some pressure in there. Got a little bit of this color left. Uh, it's definitely darker. It's darker than the orange I'm painting the truck. Which I don't like, but for the back of the cab, I think to base it and get it consistent color, I think we'll be all right. This is a low budget job, guys. You wouldn't be doing this on a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner or a Charger 500. <laughs> I guarantee that right now. So we're going to load some of this in the gun and reduce it. And uh, this is actually the color I originally wanted to paint the truck. But I didn't want to go too far off of orange because the interior of the truck is orange. 
and I don't want to take the whole interior apart right now to change the orange so I kind of wanted to keep it in the orange family so that's why I decided to go with orange instead of red of course I don't have a spray gun holder around here it's like a makeshift production man load some of this up in there and this is just this paint here is just base coat again drop my stick down in the paint all right spray some of this on the back of the cab and hope for the best I know you're asking yourself why don't I just paint right over the orange well you can't really see it that good on camera but all these chips actually that's the whole purpose I put that shield back on if you guys would go back one video and watch my train horn video and where I did the body work on this thing I put that shield on because when they were loading me things were spilling over the dump box and they were hitting the back of this cab and it just sandblasted all this paint off so a new paint i got is really really transparent so i think even though it's dark i would rather have something on this and like the top of the roof i can care less if it gets painted or not but at least there's something on it nobody's gonna see up there anyway it's more important to get the parts you could see. I'm gonna worry about that first and then work my way up. But that covered up pretty good. We got it all mixed up, four parts paint, one part reducer, one part hardener. So we should be ready to roll. All right, guys, here it is about 11 o'clock at night. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, did a lot of painting today, as you could probably hear in my voice. So <clears throat> these I, these mirror brackets were 
kind of rusty, a little bit of black paint left on them. I went over them with a red scotch bright and uh, buried them with silver paint. And I had just enough of this finish one clear to put a nice heavy coat of clear on them. And these, that way I can put these on, they're going to be done. But the truck, I mean, look at this thing just glow. It dark out too. And this thing came out beautiful. I'm, I mean, I didn't think it'd come out this good for being such a crappy job. There's definitely some stripes in it, you can see. Yeah, I can see them pretty good now, but that is the nature of the beast when it comes to single stage urethane because you have to hold the gun close and you have to put it on wet where ideally with a vehicle that was that you'd want to come out look nice you would definitely do this a color like this base coat clear coat that way you can hold the gun way back and just you know and i got a pretty good gun too but, you know, it just, it is what it is, you know. That's why I chose it for this truck, because this is not a show truck, even though, I tell you what, I'm going to take this to a couple shows, and I think it'll look pretty darn good. Yeah, there's a bunch of bugs that got into it. You can't really see them in the camera. I mean, it's dark now anyway. We'll look at it tomorrow morning. But <clears throat> the grill is still the original orange, because the grill I am going to paint silver also but we're gonna do that down the road i'm i gotta get some more clear and uh because the grill or the the silver i have is just base coat so you put that on without clear on it it, it doesn't really hold up that great it holds up for a while but it just it kind of just wears off after a while so i just can't get over this thing like you could see that thing just glow it like glows in the dark man what a nice color Man, it just, with that yellow cat engine in there, just looks so sweet. Really cool. Now I can start, you know, thinking about building the hood and everything for it, but. All right, well, we're going to call it a night here. It's like 1030 at night. I've had a really super sticky day, and uh, my hands are all paint. My face is all paint. Everything's sticky. My head. <laughs> My nose, my nostrils almost stick shut, which is probably really good for my health. And, uh, yeah, so with this cool orange old international background, we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. All right, guys, this is the third day and uh, last day on this paint project. So behind you is is pretty much the finished product and how it's going to be for a while. Man, she looks pretty good. Ready to check it out? I'm sure you are. Oh, yeah. It looks better than I thought it would. <clears throat> Man, this thing really pops, especially with that chrome on it. The International, got the mirror brackets on, painted them silver, kind of touched up the mirrors with some steel wool. Man, this thing looks good. My father came over last night and helped me do the finishing touch, so let's go check that out. Oh yeah. Got the grill painted silver. I didn't want to paint the grill the same color as the truck on this. I just I just like grills that are chrome or silver or polished aluminum on trucks. I think think that's kind of the way to go. What I'd really like to do is paint this center part orange. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I think that'd look really good, but it's a little bit of a process taking that thing off. It's not too bad, but it's a work truck once again it's not a show truck so it black is easier to take care of when bugs and stuff get splattered in there guys i am freaking wicked happy with this this paint job turned out so much better than i expected it to for just such a you know half-ass deal and it just looks so nice with this gray box 
you know that's exactly how I wanted it to look got our crappy stack back on that's half shot I get a chrome one someday maybe when I get some money to me it's more important to put the money into parts and stuff keeping the truck happy oil grease you know engine parts than it is to put flashy zingy stuff on there but <clears throat> you know it's not if you run a responsible business I don't think it's really too often that you're going to get extra money to spend on stuff like that unless it's kind of a you know spur of the moment deal but anyway but yeah my whole goal was to with painting this this orange was I didn't want to change the door jams right away down the road I'll change the door jams you know I'll I'll paint all this sometime when I get more time down the road but I really wanted to keep it in the orange family because this entire interior on this truck is all orange and I just didn't want to you know paint the truck like green or something like that and have the orange interior that would just look ugly but you know after it's all said and done I have no regrets at all honestly I this color is I really couldn't have picked a better color for this truck I mean this thing just looks freaking hot it looks really nice what do you guys think tell me in the comments down below you know everybody made fun of me when I painted my 62 Peterbilt pink which it actually wasn't pink it was actually called plasma purple it did kind of look pink in the like once the camera hit it and stuff but I think I made a good choice on the 62 Pete and I think I made a good choice on this one too and this color I just can't stop looking at it especially like when the sun goes down and you see it in that sunset oh it's just got such a nice glow to it but she's not perfect there's a couple dents I could have fixed up a little better somebody must have either drove into this mirror or backed into it or you know something like that down the road because this this door is really messed up right here it's really messed up on the top there's a crack here that was cracked all the way down that I welded a few weeks ago the same video that I replaced these panels and put the train horns on so if you're wondering about that go back and watch that video and you'll see me do some work to this to get it ready box looks great just rust oleumed it i finally got my reflectors on i went down and got this inspected <laughs> like six months ago and they told me i should put reflectors on it and i told them i would as soon as i paint the box so i held up my end of the word <laughs> you know i always like to make you know people that inspect my vehicles and you know i just want to abide by the law and stuff so but yeah i got them on finally I took the DOT number sticker off of the door and put it on there. I actually got new stickers for this, but I don't want to put them on right away because it's fresh paint. Like, I want to wait a couple weeks for the paint to dry before I go put in the, you know, anything like that on this. So, so we're just going to wait on that for a while. You know, hopefully I don't get too much attention. And honestly, I, I think I'm going to leave the DOT numbers there. I don't. I don't know if it's legal or not because technically you're not supposed to put them on a panel that you can change well let me tell you something it'd be a lot easier to change a door than it would be to change the box so yeah I don't think I'm changing the box out every weekend <laughs> but I don't know we'll see how that goes I like the green on the the new Peterbilt too it's kind of like the orange it's like metallic green it's just the same same as the orange but green kind of thing tell you what when these two trucks are done and they're all cleaned up and nice and pretty they're gonna look nice together like i'm really happy on where everything's going for me so far i mean i'm really gonna have two nice trucks here you know now that now that this one's finally done i mean this truck here was wicked bad i mean this thing looked like it was uh you know it come out of a junkyard which actually didn't come out of a junkyard but I mean, I'm I'm wicked happy. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm talking about now, like the orange firewall. I wasn't about to get in there, guys, and and paint this firewall and you know unhook all these wires and all this stuff and do a good job right now. 
but you know as you can see the orange firewall and the you know the different orange crush paint versus the regular orange firewall it doesn't like fight with each other you know where if this was like green or something and that was orange it would just it would look absolutely hideous so you know the orange and orange and even like i don't know how much you can see because of the glare but even like looking through the windows and seeing the orange on top of the roof and stuff you know it do it doesn't fight with this orange it you know it looks it looks decent <laughs> I would highly recommend not spraying this on any paint or anything like that, especially fresh paint, because you will regret it. I learned that lesson the hard way quite a few years ago. Stuff works awesome on wheels. Gets the crap right off of there. Yeah, I think we're gonna be repainting this gas tank black. Ow, over spray stuck on there pretty good. That's all right, I plan on painting all this black anyway. Again. Look at that water just bead right off of there. So satisfying. Man. There we go, she's all washed up. Did a quick washing on it, didn't go crazy. Now that it's really nice, I still have to keep in mind that it's still a work truck. Things are gonna get chipped and dented and scratched and dirty and stained and all that jazz. But man, I am in love. Oh, it just looks so good. I can't stop looking at this thing, that orange. I don't know if it does justice on the camera. But in real life, it is just absolutely stunning. Man, it just makes me wanna keep going and like just start making like everything real nice. Like go out and buy a new bumper for it for like $700 and oh yeah. Yeah, it's real easy to do that stuff. Hopefully I can start working on the old 81 Pete again. I almost said the old 62 Pete, man, it gets, 
you get in the habit of saying these things. <laughs> the old 81 Pete now. Man, she just shines. All right, well anyway, that's enough mumbling and rambling and all that stuff, so. I know I didn't do an in-depth process of painting this truck. I just kind of showed bits and pieces of the progress I did. Um, you know, now that we're at the end of the video, I mean, tell me, you know, th this channel's for you guys, you know, this is for my viewers. Like, let me know what you guys want to see. Like, do you want to see me wrenching on bolts and putting stuff on? I mean, to me, when I watch it back, it's kind of boring just, you know, seeing somebody just, like, turn a wrench and stuff like that. To me, I'm kind of, like, more like, you know, kind of like the <clears throat> like the shows that they used to make back, like, in the early 2000s when, like, the TV show thing got real hot you know like the chopper shows the car building shows and all that stuff you know they never actually showed any work done they basically showed a bunch of drama which it actually was was actually pretty exciting and they just showed like you know they hardly ever showed them doing actual work on on the stuff it was just like bits and pieces so to me that's kind of more exciting just to kind of see like it come to life instead of seeing me you know like for example the mirror bracket on the other side i fought for like an hour getting the center bolt out because there's like a strip in there and somehow the bolt got stripped out and it was it was a real fun thing getting way up in that door but i mean to me that stuff's kind of boring it's really not that exciting i tried to save most of the video for like the exciting part i didn't even do me sanding the truck or anything like that because to me it just it's it's just kind of boring to watch an hour of just sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding of course it doesn't have to be an hour in the video but i mean all you got to do is see this and that that's basically what it's like for the entire truck is just to sand so i mean i'd rather show the exciting stuff i mean you know of course there's always blood sweat and tears to that piece of junk old ford cougar mercury cougar or something like that man wow drive that thing right to the junkyard <laughs> anyway wow that was loud anyway I've, i can't remember what i was saying but yeah i think it's just more exciting to kind of see it come to life but anyway we're gonna end this one here like I said, if you didn't see the video of me putting the train horns on and doing the patch panel work on this, make sure you go back. It should be the last video before this one and check that one out because there was a lot of detail in there. I kind of showed doing bits and pieces and stuff. A lot of rambling and all that. But I mean, uh, you know, definitely go back and check that video out. And yeah, so hope you guys watch seeing me paint this orange crush truck and hope you think it looks as good as i do we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching